Hello, welcome to the Seniors Get Up and Go YouTube channel. My name is Stephen Katz. I'm the founder and director. Today's podcast topic is Seniors Living with Robots. We thank you for watching and ask that you please subscribe to our channel. Just tap that subscribe button. It helps us out quite a bit. And if you like the show, please press the link that says like. And also feel free to leave any comments that you may want to. Remember, we are seniors helping seniors. Robots are rapidly becoming an essential part of all of our lives. And their incredible uses keep increasing day by day. As the artificial intelligence and robot technology continue to advance, the idea of a senior having their own robot as a companion and assistant is now becoming a reality. We are currently experiencing a rapid rise in the number of seniors. Consequently, there is a shortage of caregivers to meet the needs of our growing senior population. Engineering technology, healthcare providers, and business investors have teamed up to introduce robot companions to begin to fill the void in the caregiver staffing for our senior adults. Specialized robots will have the potential to fill the void in providing essential health services, household activities, and even companionship for our seniors. The robots can improve the quality of life for seniors in different scenarios. Seniors who want to be living independently in their own home, seniors living with family members and need assistance while those family members are out working or doing their own normal daily activities, seniors living at an assisted living center who require some extra attention and extra assistance during the day. As far as emotional support goes, seniors often spend too much time alone. It's true. So seniors can feel lonely and isolated while their family members are out working, as I said, or visiting their own friends or doing their own daily activities. So the seniors have too much free time that they spend on their own. However, similar to a pet, a robot can provide emotional support for that senior. Using artificial intelligence, robots can act as companions to interact with that otherwise lonely senior. The robots can be programmed to engage the seniors in conversations, play games, and even provide mental stimulation in educational classes, maybe doing a language, reading a book, reading magazines, etc. This can prove and to be a very supportive role in improving the mental health and well-being of the senior. Robots can also help with household assistance. Robot companions can help seniors with tasks such as cooking, cleaning, and even getting dressed. This way, the senior can live more independently with its own robotic companion. Robots can dispense medical prescriptions correctly, maintain appointments with their healthcare providers. The robot can provide seniors with a sense of independence and allow other family members and caregivers the time to go do their own personal activities. The robots can help with safety. One of the significant reasons to use robots for seniors is senior care being safely provided. It is commonly known that seniors are prone to falls and accidents. The robots are always available and always observing. Robots can help prevent and reduce the regular occurrence of this major problem of falls and safety issues 
when the seniors need help. Robots can help seniors to increase their mobility. Robots can assist seniors in getting up from a chair or a bed. Robots are helpful for assisting the senior to get in good sitting positions or get out of that chair, for standing, for walking. The robot can help prevent the risk of a significant fall and of course the side effects of that fall can be devastating. Robots can be programmed to monitor the home environment. The robot can detect potential hazards, fire, gas leaks, break-ins in the home, and alert caregivers or the community responders to come and help. You know a great part about the robots? They're always available. Availability, it's great. Many seniors require constant care and attention, and robots can provide that. Using personal staff to do caregiving requires the senior and their family to rely on the staffing assistant to show up on schedule ready to work. The employed caregiver needs to be healthy, willing, and able to come and do their job. But with a robot, you know what? Robots don't get sick. Robots don't get hurt. Robots don't need personal time off. They're always available 24-7 to take care of that senior. So there is no disruption of service or of the family's schedule to lead a normal life. The robots can be assisting the senior with personal hygiene. Robots can assist seniors with their personal daily activities such as bathing, dressing, medical dispensing. This can reduce the burden on the caregivers and give them peace of mind knowing that their loved one is being taken care of. Robots are also very, very cost effective in senior care as compared to hiring a full-time caregiver or particularly around the clock caregiver. Hiring a caregiver can be expensive and the cost increases with the level of the care and the number of hours of service required. In contrast, robots are a one-time investment and their maintenance costs are commonly very low. Moreover, robots can perform multiple tasks simultaneously. They can cover different duties by being one robot, not different people doing different things. Personalized care can provide personalized unique care to that senior. For example, the robot can adjust the room temperature to the way they want it. The robot can play music that the, the senior wants to hear, put on videos, put on a television show, read books, magazines, newspapers, all programmed to meet the desires of the senior. On an emotional basis, Importantly, robots can provide emotional support. Now, of course, it's not human support, but the seniors can often feel lonely and isolated. The robot can be programmed to be a good companion like a pet. Seniors can use that artificial intelligence to comfort the senior, talk to the senior, interact with the senior, and make them feel safe and comfortable. So in conclusion, robots are correct for senior care based on the robot's safety support, 24-7 availability, cost effectiveness, personalized care, emotional support, and offering a variety of services that can be offered to the senior. Having a robot around all the time though may create some privacy issues for the family members. Robots are equipped with cameras and microphones which can raise questions about privacy and surveillance where they are used. So it's important for the family to get with the manufacturers and ensure that the data that's being collected is only used in a manner that they want. 
seniors in the family should be aware of the potential risk and make sure you guard your privacy. The cost of the robot is an important concern. As in most new technologies, the price is still relatively expensive. Current prices can make it difficult for many seniors on a fixed income to afford a robotic pet. Eventually, the robot technology should become more affordable, like all other technologies. Initially, cell phones were ridiculously expensive, televisions, everything comes down over a period of time. And the government agencies can find paying for that robot less expensive than paying for staff members after they pay the salary and all the benefits. So we may find the government agencies also helping provide the cost of that robot. Soon government programs may assist in paying for those robots and help everyone who needs one to be able to afford it. This is the end of our podcast, Robots for Seniors. I hope you enjoyed watching it. We've learned a lot about how robot assistance might help you and your family. Please visit our Seniors Get Up and Go YouTube channel. Check out all the senior exercise videos and informational podcasts that we offer. Simply subscribe and enjoy. Utilize the service. It's there for you. We are seniors helping seniors. Thank you.